Alright, so uh, if you guys watched my last video, you'll see that I switched from a uh, Flowmaster Super 10 to a Carbon R muffler on my Silverado, the 4.8. So uh, this video, I just want to do like an in-cab review of it, uh, go over what it sounds like, with the windows up, windows down, part throttle, full throttle, stuff like that. And then uh, after that, I'm just going to give you my overall experience with it and just kind of touch light with something I haven't really seen too many people uh, talk about. I've watched so many reviews on this um, before I bought it. That's the reason why I bought it, because I wanted it and I like the sound. So uh, right now I'm going to go for a drive and uh, get started. Let me get the keys out of my pocket first. So um, right now the windows uh, are all up. So. I'm just going to show you how it sounds starting up with all the windows up. If you can hear it. Um, my phone isn't the best phone, but it's also not the worst. And as you can see, I have my daughter. What, well, babes? Alright, we're going to go for a ride, okay? So, inside the cab with the windows up, it's not extremely loud, uh, honestly it's kind of the same as the Flowmaster Super 10, but it's a different tone, and um, it's loud enough, but it's not like overbearing to so the point where you can't like have a conversation or anything, but overall it's, I'd say it's a good muffler so far, I've had it on for about six days so far and I am going to be doing a review after of owning it for about a month that's when it should start sounding a little bit better Just, you know like I keep saying they do fill up with carbon and that's when it starts getting more of a hollowed out tone to it But so far, overall, um, it's nothing you shouldn't get pulled over for, for being too loud. You shouldn't have a problem um, passing inspections or anything like that. So that was about 4,000 RPMs. This thing will go to uh, 54 from the factory, but with my tuner, I could raise it up a little bit. I've been thinking about it, but I also I don't want any valve float or anything like that. Or um, with this engine spinning too fast, honestly, the rods will break faster than the crank. But uh, I don't know. The 4.8 is pretty much uh, I think the most durable engine in terms of adding power to it like 5.3s and 6.0s obviously you get more power out of them but if you're really planning on stuffing a lot of power into it and I think 4.8 is your best bet say though this thing definitely sounds the best with the windows down uh, you can actually hear like the, uh, the hollowed out 
almost like an open header sound. With the windows up, it kind of just sounds just like every other truck with an exhaust on it, but it's a little louder. It's definitely louder than the Flowmaster Super 10, so if you want something that's louder and sounds a hundred times better, this is the muffler for you. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, like I said, this is definitely my go-to muffler from now on. Um, I'm done with chambered mufflers. I'm done with mufflers that have packing in it. Uh, like I said, this is pretty much just a piece of metal in the shape of a muffler that has this little baffle ring that has some holes in it. And that is literally the only thing that uh, muffles the sound. So it's... I guess you can compare it to a Flowmaster Outlaw or kind of like a SLP or something like that. But, uh, for way cheaper, uh, this was like $90 on Amazon. You can buy it somewhere else. And for $90, that's not bad at all. There's mufflers, you know, from Corsa, Borla, and stuff like that that go for way more. I'm going to say almost twice that for just a muffler and that's not including the whole cat back but if you do want a whole cat back for your car truck whatever they do make them just uh you know do a little bit of research for it and uh when i've seen the dodge rams the new ones maybe even silverados or f-150s or whatever it's direct direct bolt on you literally take the old clamps off of your old setup, take everything off, slip everything on, tighten down the new clamps, and you're done. That's it. So, that's my, uh, half of my review right now. That's for the windows up. I'm going to roll the, both of the windows down, and then, uh, take a little bit of drive, go back to my house, and then, uh, we'll see if you can hear the sound difference or not. The only thing that sucks about crank windows, especially if you're driving and it starts pouring out, you gotta sit there and pull over or just get soaked, I guess. Alright, so windows down. I do have the heat on, but I don't think you guys should hear that. So, again, this is with the windows down. I gotta make sure nobody's coming. should say is this is my normal like turnaround spot I've did it in a couple of videos uh, taking off from there I am going up a pretty steep hill so that's why it kind of seems like this thing takes forever to pick up and, uh, it's pretty steep hill but um, <clears throat> so far uh, sometimes when I have both the windows down the uh, wind noise kind of like overpowers the exhaust you know, it's one of those things, you take your foot off of it, you're just coasting, you really don't hear it at all, you can't even tell the truck is running barely, and then, you know, if you got music playing, that's going to make it even uh, worse or better, whatever one, but for whatever reason, if you think it's too loud and you're going past a cop or something, just take your foot off the gas, and it literally makes uh, almost no noise at all, you can barely hear it, and that's the opposite of the uh, Flowmaster Super 10 I had. It's, for whatever reason, I don't know, it's a single chamber uh, race muffler. It's supposed to be, you know, loud-ish throughout the whole entire RPM range, but it sounded the best at idle and part throttle. And then once it started get, uh, getting up into the higher RPMs, it kind of quieted down a little bit, which, again, is, I want to kind of the opposite which most people do, they want to just be cruising around, they don't want something that's going to be annoying to them at all, and if they want to hit the gas, they want something that's going to scream, which uh, this one does, 
but honestly I'm going to say this thing kind of sounds best on a takeoff from a complete stop because that's when you know I can hit the gas and make it go to any RPMs quickly and then let off and kind of get like a you know, little growling noise it does, there's no pops, there's uh, no crackles, anything like that. no drone really either and you know I, I think that depends on what you think drone is to me it's not just a loud annoying noise it's more of a vibration with an exhaust pitch that it's kind of like ear piercing you can, it's like you feel the pressure in your ear that's what drone is to me and this for the most part it doesn't really have it. The uh, Super 10 didn't really have it. And, um, you know, um, I'm going to be home in a little bit, but once I get home, I'll explain the whole uh, part that really I haven't heard anybody talk about, which is kind of common sense. Um, when you think about it, if you're getting something that's going to be louder and sound different, it's all gonna make sense, but uh, I'll pick this back up when I get home. Alright, so I just made it home, and uh, like I said, this thing definitely sounds best with the windows down. Obviously, you're gonna hear it better, and on cold starts, Daddy. it's not Daddy. too hang on, babies. On cold starts, it's not too loud. Uh, I was gonna do a cold start video this morning, but it was actually pouring out, so uh, I can kind of stop that, but uh. Should do be able to do one tomorrow, so if you guys uh, hang around for that, I'll go over that. And the thing I wanted to talk about, and like I said, it's common sense, but with this muffler, it's got some bass to it. It's a lot more bassy than the uh, Super 10. You know, with that muffler, you could hear it, and, um, and like I said, it sounded good, but it was just, you couldn't feel it like this one. With this... You know, at any RPM, like I said, it's got some bass to it. You're going to feel it throughout the whole truck. And if that's something that you really don't want or kind of like can't handle, you know, like the vibration and like I said, just the bass, like you can feel the pressure of it. And um, honestly, this muffler is probably not for you, but uh, like I said, it's, it's going to come with something that louder. And this is on a truck that has stock manifolds, stock cats, and... Uh, Pretty, like I said, pretty lengthy uh, exhaust pipe on it. So any, anything with like an actual car, anything that's significantly shorter than this, it's going to be way louder. So just keep that in mind if you're getting this for something that you're driving on the highway. You know, also keep that in mind. But if you're putting this on something that you just kind of cruise around on the weekends or whatever, uh, you shouldn't have a problem, but with me, this is my daily driver, and honestly, the noise don't bother me, or the uh, the bass to it. You know, for me, that completes the whole experience, and I buy an exhaust so I can hear it. I know most people buy something so other people can hear it. Hang on, girl. But I buy an exhaust so I can hear it. And, um, you know, it's one thing that kind of sucks is I never really get to hear my exhaust that I have in my car or trucks from the outside because I don't have anybody, uh, really that can drive it or I just kind of don't trust anybody. But, um, so that was my in cab review of the Carbon R muffler. Like I said, it is a hundred times better than the Flowmaster Super 10, in my opinion, for the application that I wanted to put it on. Um, I guess, uh, I, you know, this truck is, hang on, babes. This truck has been kind of, you know, just my daily driver, but I am starting to transform it into my street strip truck. Um, you know, I really, I know how far I want to go with it, but I don't know if, you know, I guess my situation let me, um, I kind of need... I have another car, I have a 07 Hyundai Santa Fe, and it needs a couple things, so that's why I'm not driving it right now, but uh, hopefully those should be fixed within a couple of months, 
Hopefully before winter, because honestly with these BF Goodrich KO2s, this thing sucks in the winter. It makes it through the snow, but you're spinning the whole time, or you're fish channeling, and you really have to stay on the throttle. Otherwise, if you sit for too long, you're just going to get stuck. Uh, knock on wood, I haven't gotten stuck with it yet, but, um, you know, I guess I could fix that by getting studded uh, tires, which I'm also going to be looking into that, but. Anyway, that's kind of my review of the Carbonar muffler. I wanted to go every over every aspect of it. Like I said, the bass, the noise, the sound, the price. So, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, you know, comment, so keep subscribing. Uh, I really want to get at least to a thousand so I can start doing the community post and letting you guys know what videos are coming. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.